Since the establishment of World Economic Forum in the 1970s, they had the summer Davos in Tianjin when Davos ran its first forum in China. At that time, the CCP's Ministry of National Security dispatched about 400 to 500 people on site to take surveillance measures and install surveillance equipment in advance including videotaping. Recalling the summer Davos in Tianjin, the CCP selected underaged young girls from Tibet, Xinjiang, and Yunnan to participate in the so-called Davos Art Performance Group. You can see how many little girls and minors were in that group, you can go ahead and search it up yourself. My friends who were from the Ministry of National Security inside CCP's political and legal department told me, Miles, this is not the World Economic Forum. Those bastard elites are pedophilia and came here for underaged girls. He told me about the most scariest thing from these young girls, blood serum. He said, I just found out Tianjin Authority was required to fulfill their blood banks in large amounts to prepare for the critical supply. This is the Chinese practice of adrenochrome harvesting for those global elites who wanted to stay young and energetic. Those CCP assholes always fell asleep during meetings, but have you seen them sleeping in summer Davos in Tianjin? You can go to check it out. You can check out those fancy hotels built in Tianjin at that time. None of these hotels allowed ordinary Chinese people to enter. These global elites each occupied an entire floor in the hotel and there were around a thousand attendees from the summer Davos in Tianjin back then. Why did the CCP authority have to provide tight security to these hotels? Why did the CCP have to enforce heavy security measures for the entire city? What were those global elites doing there? Now, when we look at the Davos today, we can see the evidence of the crimes committed by the World Economic Forum.